Hello guys. It's kind of hard to believe that the original Oppo Reno smartphone only launched as recently as 2019, and yet already we're up to number bloody 10 in the series. The Oppo Reno 10 5G just launched here in Blighty Boston. Some nefty camera tech, including a 32 meg telephoto portrait shooter, you got 67 watt super fast battery charge action, a gorgeous AMOLED display backed by stereo speakers, and all the usual lovely color OS. This is my full Oppo Reno 10 5G unboxing and early review after using it as my full-time fun for a few days. And for more on the latest and greatest tech, please do pock subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers. So first up, what is in that box? Well, you've got yourself one Oppo Reno 10 5G. You've got yourself a big old brick of a power adapter 67 watt SuperVook action. Of course, you should get yourself a three pin plug if you buy it here in Blighty. Go yourself a Type C USB cable and some quick start guide. That's it, sadly, no protective case in the box. I've been using the Oppo Reno 10 5G as my full-time smartphone for a few days now, and as you can see I still haven't smashed it to bits either accidentally or on purpose, so that's a good start, and for a mid-range mobile, it certainly looks pretty slick. You could fool someone into thinking it is a flagship smartphone looks rather smart, you've got some eye-catching curve action around the back, and also the front. The Oppo Reno 10 certainly feels really nice and comfortable to clutch, and pleasingly skinny and lightweight, as well just weighs 185 grams, got a choice, is just two colors, you can grab the Reno 10 in ice blue or silvery gray model. Let's shift on to software, and this will come as no surprise to anyone who's used an up or smartphone recently. The Reno 10 5G runs Android 13 with Color OS slapped on top, and me and Color OS 13 were not best buds, but we get on absolutely fine because it doesn't mess too much with the stock Android vibes. You've got your app stray, you've got your notifications drawer, you can rag down, you've also got a few extra features like the shelf which is basically just a big page full of widgets and the gesture support is solid you've got the usuals like the one-handed board we've also got some extra bonus spits like being able to drag down all of the icons on your desktop very handy if you've got lots of wee buggers stuffed away on there and the customization on color os is pretty strong as well so for instance lots of always on display options it's very pleasing indeed to see that Oppo has stuffed 256 gigs of storage into the Reno 10 5G, which is very generous indeed, considering the likes, the Galaxy S23, the iPhone 14 series, they all come with 128 gigs as base you've got to pay for that extra 256, and an even better news that's actually expandable via micro SD memory cards, so if you do a lot of down loading you shoot lots of photos and videos etc well no worries you're basically sorted now just like last year's reno 9 the reno 10 5g sports a 6.7 inch amoled display and it's a bit of a cracker it's a full hd plus panel as you would expect you've got hdr 10 plus support here for the likes of netflix so the contrast nice and crispy gorgeous natural looking visuals and colors are nice and poppy as well if you're kicking back with some animated fare something like that you got a dinky wee selfie camera cut out thingy up near the top doesn't really intrude too much in the action and the brightness maxes out at around 500 nits so i found that the reno 10 5g was perfectly comfortable to use outdoors even when it was actually sunny the reno 10s display can bounce automatically from 60 hertz to 120 hertz for supported at content it's got that nice super smooth fluid finisher though admittedly color os does tend to slow things down and junk it a little bit at times but happily i haven't suffered from any responsiveness issues. That's my thoughts. Are you tempted by the Oppo Reno 10 5G? Be great to your thoughts down in the comments below. Please do pock subscribing that notifications bell. Cheers everyone. Love you. Bye.